for more luck. For them. If I win, you have to let them go. Honey, I'm not stopping them. Okay, then when I win, you have to give back the luck you stole. Close up shop. What is with you and these losers? They're nothing. They don't matter. They matter to me. They matter to us. Well, fine. Rack them up. Challenge the goddess of luck in her own joint. What'd you think was gonna happen? Well, we had to try. Well, that was stupid. Thought she was gonna kill us. Yeah, she doesn't have to. Our luck will do that on its own. The, we can't just leave them. Oh, I know. All right, well, let's go find some Wi-Fi and see what kills Lady Luck. We'll circle back. Hey, look, what's going on? What happened? She... She shut it down. What? Why? Because of you. She said she thought your kind had gone extinct. Our kind? Heroes. Like the old days. And she gave me a message. She said, don't play his game. Make him play yours. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So in tonight's episode we had two separate storylines. We had the boys trying to get their luck back from this magical pool place. And then we had the whole Castiel tracking down Jack, finding out Jack is alive to begin with, gets very emotional about it, eventually tracks him down, finds him and finds some bizarre things about him. But that's for other videos uh, I've been making. For this one, we'll focus on the boys' side of the episode, which was still very interesting. Again, I usually prefer the boys' side than the other side, but in this case, the other side had a bigger title, obviously the over overarching story of the season, beating God, the big mythology, so that was the big part, but this was equally as awesome in my opinion, the boys' side. So the boys find out that the goddess of luck is running this pool place and she's skimming luck from poor people who are trapped in that place because if they get out, they essentially die. So they have to work themselves to death um, or just keep playing until they get better luck. So miserable existence and she just doesn't even care about her son when the boys try to like hold them hostage to get what they wanted. She doesn't care, she's like, I'm gonna make new sons. So yeah, the boys have no leverage on her, but they do challenge her to a game and she likes Sam. She's like, okay, I'm gonna play Sam this time. Dean beat her before. Dean is supposed to be the best one in pool out of the boys. Sam still was awesome. He still beat her the first time. They tried to play the second time, but you know, they double the stakes of their lives. So Sam challenges and tells her, you give all the luck you stole so the people can leave. And instead of us getting double luck, we just get our normal luck back. And she's like, deal, but 
you know, stupid idea, yes, because she is a goddess of luck. How does she ever lose to begin with is mind-boggling. But she beats him again and it just seems desperate. Everyone else is trapped inside, the boys can leave, but they'll die essentially because they're all out of luck. <laughs> Before they had little luck apparently, now they're really screwed. So they still want to keep fighting. They prove to her that they are heroes. They tell her about God, they're going against God. She's like, what, you guys crazy? Like I haven't seen uh, this breed of humans for a while, the heroes like Hercules and stuff. So she respects him so much that even after Sam loses and the boys still were going after her, Dean is like, let's find some Wi-Fi and find a way to kill her. Like the old classic boys researching and killing gods and monsters, the boys we love. But yeah, she respects him enough being here that she gives him what they want. She gives everyone their luck bags, you can leave. The boys end up, end up saving the day anyway, even without their luck. Just by being their decent, heroic selves, willing to sacrifice their own lives for others. Self selflessness. All of that pays off at the end and they get their normal luck back. Baby starts fine. Everything seems fine. They go back to the bunker and everything's fine. And um, yeah, that's what Boys Being Heroic does. You save the day at the end, even with bad luck. So yeah, I really loved that. I kind of got all emotional when uh, it was revealed that she still gave him what he wanted because they're heroes. She sends this message through the girl in the bar and she gets out and tells Sam and Dean. Yeah, that was really, this was a very cool scene. I really loved that scene. It just summarizes like almost 15 years of the journey of the boys sadly coming to an end that's what always came down to those two brothers fighting for each other fighting for others fighting to save the world and just just this was summarized in that scene even after they lose a game they still got what they wanted just by being themselves so that was a great message a great summary of like the heart the core of the show i love that and uh yeah this episode was great overall and uh, we have a whole month and a half he led us to the next one i don't mind because Keep Supernatural going for as long as possible, I guess. Let us keep living in a world where Supernatural still exists, right? New episodes of it anyway. That's why I don't mind the breaks at all. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Subscribe for more awesome Supernatural content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments.